Continuing to track the breaking update coming in, raids happening at the Amnesty India headquarters in Bengaluru. What we're being told at this point is that the enforcement directed raids have been taking place from early this morning in Bengaluru. Sources also telling us that these raids are in connection with FCRA as well as other violations. What we're essentially looking at is a crackdown on NGOs because keep in mind we've also seen action against Greenpeace India for FCRA violations. Now we understand and the enforcement director has confirmed this to us that raids are currently taking place at the Amnesty India headquarters. Let's go across to Prema Shri Devi for more details on this. Prema, it's over to you. Well, we have confirmed information from our sources within the Enforcement Directorate that Amnesty International NGO headquarters in Bangalore is being raided as we speak. Uh, Amnesty International NGO, as we all know, uh, is an international NGO and they have more than 7 million supporters and volunteers over 150 countries. Now, uh, even sources are telling us that they are looking at uh, the FCRA violations and they are also looking at FBI violations and the source of funds or uh, funding of the NGO is also being looked at. Now, uh, the fact is, as you rightly mentioned, ED had earlier stopped the operations of Greenpeace India Society's uh, many bank accounts, uh, which summed up to 12 bank accounts with various banks, and uh, following which Greenpeace India also issued a press statement, and then the center had also cancelled the Foreign Contribution Regulation Act license of Greenpeace India um, earlier. Now, uh, this, this should be seen in a larger context because the center uh, has been on a clampdown on NGOs which have been uh, conducting fraudulent activities and uh, over 16,000 NGOs were re deregistered. We know about that and we also saw how the FCRA license of uh, over 13,000 NGOs were cancelled since 2014. Now, this is a major step as far as uh, this entire uh, clampdown on NGOs is concerned. Uh, Amnesty International NGO, one of the most, uh, the, one of the biggest NGOs uh, is being raided. In Bangalore, the headquarters is being raided. Uh, ED sources are telling us that the entire funding of this NGO, all the files related to the funding are being seized and they are being looked at. In fact, the FCRA violations, that is a foreign exchange rule uh, violations, are being looked at. Foreign direct investment violations are also being looked at. Okay. Now, if you look at the entire statistics of this entire NGO violations, that is so alarming because there are more than 31 lakh NGOs operating in uh, our country which has received uh, yes. funds either from the government or from ab abroad, but only a paltry 10% uh, of these NGOs have filed their balance sheets. So that is the uh, extent of uh, the crime in involving the NGOs. There are various lobbies that have always been coming forward and saying okay. that these NGOs have been uh, uh, t targeted for various other reasons and political reasons. But as far as MHA is concerned, as far as the center is concerned, and right now as far as the enforcement directorate is concerned, they are looking at violations because they believe that all these NGOs which are operating inside the country, they need to follow the Indian rules and regulations they need mm. to adhere to the FCRA laws. They need to adhere to the FDI policy. So uh, as far as uh, the Amnesty International NGO is concerned, they have found certain gross violations, and that is one of the reasons why this crackdown is taking place in its headquarters. Yes, Prima, let's also take that forward with Ashwarya Kapoor, a political editor who is also joining us on this broadcast. Uh, before that, I want to go across to Abhishek Kapoor as well. And Abhishek, uh, you know, what we're seeing right now is a crackdown on NGOs. We've already seen action against Greenpeace India. Their operations of 12 banks are also being suspended. Now raids being conducted against Amnesty in their headquarters in Bengaluru as well. The message is clear. They're going to go after any NGO, any non-governmental organization that's not following the rules, the norms in India. In fact, not just Amnesty and Greenpeace, uh, we know that uh, the Ministry of Home Affairs has slapped notices and uh, shut some of the overall about 2,000 uh, NGOs. Uh, uh, interestingly, this comes in the backdrop of a speech that has been made by National Security Advisor, where he has warned that uh, uh, internal divisive forces uh, are a greater threat, in fact, uh, than outside threats uh, so far as India's overall security is concerned. So essentially, the modus operandi of these NGOs has been that they take money from uh, foreign agencies and that then they work on the agenda of those agencies, uh, which is detrimental uh, to India's growth trajectory in many ways. Uh, so what we are seeing in the case of Amnesty is only a you know, a continuation 
of uh, actions that have been taken by the Ministry of Home Affairs uh, over the last uh, few months uh, and uh, we will see more of these actions uh, in time to come. Uh, specifically in the case, case of amnesty, we have seen how uh, they you know, twist uh, certain facts, for example, on Kashmir, on human rights uh, and thus uh, are seen to be actually pushing the agenda of, uh, uh, of, of sources inimical to India, uh, specifically Pakistan in the case of Kashmir. And that is why it seems this action has been taken. Back to you. Yes, and uh, Prema, we understand that the focus right now is uh, on checking exactly what kind of violations we're talking about. With regards to amnesty itself, are you getting any leads about what's triggered this raid by the Enforcement Directorate? Have they detected some sort of uh, an FCRA violation? All right, we've lost that uh, line with Prema. She's been getting us the latest details uh, of what we know about the raids that are taking place uh, at uh, the Amnesty headquarters uh, in Bengaluru. Uh, we understand that the raids started early this morning and Prema, we understand, is back with us. Prema, uh, any idea, any information that you're getting from your sources about what really triggered these raids? Are we talking about an FCRA violation by Amnesty? Well, we are exactly talking about the FCRA violations that are being looked into, but uh, we will not be able to say anything concrete till the raids are over and the ED comes out with an official statement. I've spoken to the officers concerned and they have uh, confirmed the raids. They have said that we are looking at uh, FCRA violations and we are looking at FBI violations. But um, uh, uh, concretely, we will be able to come out with uh, the details of these violations if there are any only once the raids are over and once the enforcement directory comes out with a proper statement. But as of now, what we can confirm is the fact that the Amnesty International NGO's headquarters in Bangalore is being raided and uh, uh, the enforcement directorate officers have confirmed that these raids are taking place at the headquarters of Amnesty International in Bangalore. And they're also saying that what triggered this yes. entire raid is... Prima, Prima, stay with us. I also want to get in a reaction now from John Dayal. John Dayal, what's your reaction to this? We do hope, you know, you come out and welcome this kind of a crackdown or, or NGOs. Uh, you know, just at a time when internationally we have been rated among the worst human rights offenders in the world, this raid only goes to confirm what is, what is the signal that the government is giving to the international community and to the Indian community. But that is the main thing. Soon after you have this fight where you are raiding each other in the CBI, and the IP is raiding the CBI number one, you have this raid. This is a height of ridiculous, I would say. No, but Mr. Jondayal, you know, you're linking one thing to another. You're linking these raids uh, against uh, Amnesty to what's happening in the CBI. First of all, this is happening by the Enforcement Directorate. Secondly, also, don't you think that the need of the hour is to crack down on any of these non-governmental organizations that are not conforming with the norm as per Indian law, that are resorting to brazen violations as far as foreign funding is concerned? This is the Enforcement Directorate of the Government of India, not of Pakistan. So it is well connected, part one. Part two, Amnesty India is entirely India funded. Point three, it still is Amnesty. It speaks for its No, it but doesn't that doesn't that doesn't speak for John Dayal, that doesn't change the fact that if you're violating Indian law, you will face action if, you know, there are FCRA violations clearly, as in the case of Greenpeace India. If that is the case with Amnesty, they will too face action. They too will face a crackdown. John Dayal, thanks for joining us. We're tracking the story closely. Keep in mind those raids are still underway at the Amnesty Bengaluru headquarters.